Hey guys, what's up? By Seth Detroit here from One Half Gazette, here with my next video. And uh, I'm not too thrilled about having to make this, but uh, there's been a lot of concerns going around because, as you've heard probably from Jake's video, uh, One Hive 1.0 and Prime are splitting apart from One Hive Alpha and One Hive Genesis. And uh, this video is really not about trying to throw mud at 1.0. I still haven't lost respect for them. I think they're still, a, you know a good clan from what I still respect Jake and his videos and he uh, kind of inspired some of what you see here so uh, it's kind of unfortunate that you know I had to watch his video and hear the things he was saying because uh, it's not the full story I don't think Jake's trying to uh, deceive you guys because as he said he's always trying to be transparent and I think that uh, he's, he's trying to be truthful I, I really do but uh, there's two sides to the story and uh, whether or not he's heard our side of the story, it wasn't included in that video. So I want to uh, give you guys what's going on in Genesis, and uh, I'm not trying to convince you guys. I'm just giving you guys our side of the story, uh, and I'm going to let you make your decision on whether to believe it or not, because at the end of the day, that's kind of where it has to happen. I can't you know, convince you guys that much. I'm just going to say uh, what we're doing here in Genesis. So the main reason at least from what I've heard, that uh, 1.0 splitting away is because we have a, or apparently we're harboring a modder, uh, which is not completely accurate either. Basically, uh, I'll start at the beginning with what happened. We had a Town Hall 10 that got banned. I'm not going to give his name, but he was part of leadership. He had a number of accounts within the family. Um, so right away, because Jake says you're guilty until proven innocent, and I think that is true to some extent because if you can never quite prove it, that's not quite good enough to, uh, of a reason to let, let them uh, stay. So immediately when we found out about it, we uh, suspended his accounts and his leadership status um, so we could investigate it. But let's keep in mind, he just got this account back from, uh, from other people within the family who were using it, not within Alpha or Genesis, but I think from other parts of the One High family. Uh, he had just gotten this account back, and uh, when he opened it on his phone, he was suspended uh, for, I believe, two weeks, the typical uh, modding ban that we're seeing at this time. Uh, but the truth is, he works as a, kind of a confidential profession he uh, works with some very classified information. And this isn't something he just told us as an excuse. This is something we've known about uh, for a while and it's something that's very, we verified. So it's not like he's making up this job to try to get us off his back. Uh, so don't, I mean, don't think that. This is something that we've checked and we are certain on. Uh, but he works with a phone that's been modified as far as software goes to prevent against people from getting that information, I believe. So his phone is modified in some way. So, um, but when his account was banned, obviously we tried to go to Supercell and see exactly why it was banned, but they do not release information as far as what exactly caused it. I believe it was just some kind of software that was on his phone. So obviously there's suspicion there. It could be modding. It could be uh, an error with the software that he has being detected as third-party software, even though it might not be affecting clash of clans but obviously this isn't a reason to uh, say he's innocent so we looked into it um, a little bit deeper uh, keeping in mind that his accounts on his iPad were not banned so it's just this one account that he has opened on his phone and he asked, asked us if he should open his other accounts on his phone and see if they will be banned too uh, we didn't want to do that because if his accounts were clean we didn't want to give them an unnecessary ban so what we did is we had him open up an account, uh, a Town Hall 4 account from another member. We, we had him open that on his phone, and sure enough, it was banned, right, like that. So another piece of evidence that might be in his favor, because this account obviously was not banned before, just a Town Hall 4 with no software from another member who we know isn't modding. We take that, we put it, we open it on his phone, and it's banned. I mean, he's been sending us screenshots of what it looks like uh, for what it's worth and uh, yeah so uh, moving on uh, we're still investigating this it's not like just because 
he opens the Town Hall 4 account on his phone and it's banned is uh, evidence that is going to be convincing enough to let him come back to his status. We're still investigating. We have, in fact, we have a tech guy who's going to be meeting with us tonight to talk about uh, exactly what could be going on here. So this is something we're looking into extremely deeply. But my point is not to say that he's completely innocent. I personally think he is. I have uh, I think the evidence is in his favor. But the point is to say we're investigating this. We've uh, kind of disassociated his clans a little bit or his accounts a little bit. They're not in war right now. And uh, we've suspended his leadership status. So we're taking the steps that anyone would rationally take. We're not just gonna you know, completely kick him out uh, just because he was banned, because as we've seen, there's growing and growing evidence to show that he might in fact not be uh, modding like his ban may uh, implicate him in. So th that's basically it, guys. We are still looking into this, and uh, we think that the evidence is starting to turn in his favor. But I just want to uh, tell you guys that Genesis we've always had a very, and the leadership has always been very transparent with what's going on. Uh, they're not keeping, you know, specified information away from us. And uh, it's, it's just something that, uh, you know, everyone in the clan is, uh, knows about. So uh, I've talked to these guys in leadership. They've always been transparent, but it's just what side of the story you want to believe at this point. And uh, I, I think that if nothing else, you should know that we're doing our honest best to look into this. If one hive wants to break away from us because they uh, feel that this isn't good enough, then that's fine. You know, I'm not going to talk bad about one hive. Uh, there's, there's things that obviously could be said, but I don't, I don't want to start throwing mud back at them. I would just encourage you guys to, uh, you know, think about what I've said and think about uh, if it's really if that's really something that makes Genesis a modding clan, uh, to have one member who's been banned, who we're looking into, uh, but there's obviously the possibility that it's his software, and I think a likelihood at this point of the uh, modified software on his phone, because um, of all the of all the things I've talked about earlier. So uh, this isn't that nasty of a split between Genesis and 1.0. I think both clans are still going to be strong. I know Genesis at least still has a lot of applicants and is doing great, same with One Hive Alpha. So I encourage you guys to still apply to our clan if that's something you've been looking to do and uh, apply to One Hive if that's something you wanna do, the other uh, 1.0 prime type deal. So uh, that's it guys. Like I said, this is not to say we know for certain he's not modding. This is to say we we're investigating it. We're not simply just harboring a modder or because he's a leadership and tightly wound within the clan. Uh, we're not just letting him get away with it or not looking into it. It's something that we are looking into. So I can't say for a definite certainty whether or not he's modding, but I can say that I think just as 1.0 would do, we're looking into it and we're not gonna kick them him out rash, uh, irrationally just based off uh, a ban that can be explained by his uh, modified phone software. So anyway, uh, uh, <laughs> kind of losing my words here for a moment, but I, I think Jake should uh, take this into account and possibly make a video that uh, addresses some of these things I've talked about because obviously he has a bigger viewership and I think uh, it, it would be nice for him to at least take a look at what I've said and what we've been saying to 1.0 about this and kind of talk about why, uh, exactly why they made this decision. But anyway, no hard feelings. I still respect Jake and uh, the 1.0, One Hive Prime clans. Anyway though, I'll be in the comments answering as many questions as I can. So let me know if, if this is something that uh, is a deal breaker, so be it. If you can't watch the channel, if you can't apply to Genesis because of this, that that's how it is, you know. Uh, but it's something that has happened in 1.0. It's happened in probably almost every One Hive clan where someone has been suspected of modding and uh, it's been dealt with. So uh, I'll let you guys know how this ends up resolving, but obviously it's still going to be going on for a while as we look into this and try to find out exactly what's happening. 
So, like I said, uh, he's not participating in war right now, and I feel bad for him because uh, I really do believe he is innocent, but obviously just because I believe that doesn't mean that uh, we're going to kind of let him off the hook without knowing exactly what's happening. So anyway, I uh, hope this makes sense, and like I said, I'll be in the comments answering any questions, and if if you can't watch the channel anymore, I understand, but I, I mean, don't tell me Genesis is a modding clan because I've been here for a while and leadership has been very transparent. I can tell you uh, that we're, whenever there's an issue of modding, we have some of the most militant people when it comes to third-party software. So that's just, uh, I mean, you cannot believe me, but I'm trying to be as open as I can. So thanks for watching anyway. More videos, as always, going to be coming out of fair play attacks. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.